Simple switch. On. Off. On. Off. Look at that. This would probably do better in a little tin or something like that and shield these connections and everything, but I just had this idea and I wanted to try it and it works. So just get a good quality switch. I actually removed this was a <clears throat> an on-off switch for uh, a fender amp that I had kicking around. Seems like a pretty good quality switch and it, it works no problems. I don't get any I don't get any interference. And there doesn't seem to be any problem with uh, with that sort of setup. So yeah, thumbs up. All right. So if you haven't already figured out what the entire point of this whole little piece of shrapnel is, this derelict piece of wire I <laughs> have hanging out of the the pedal. This is so that I can just turn off see that way it cannot use the battery. So if I turn it off this thing can't run down my battery and I can I don't have to worry about every friggin time pulling out both these cables so that it doesn't eventually within about a day, day and a half if you leave Every single pedal. I don't understand why. There's no built-in power switch. I've never seen a pedal with one. Like, granted, I haven't had very many pedals, but this seems like a pretty good goddamn fix to every single pedal I've ever had. Just give me some way to kill the power so this doesn't burn out my battery, right? So, no matter what you do, this isn't getting power. So it's not going to drain your battery, because there's no physical connection between your battery and, and this pedal anymore. That's governed by this switch. Simple fix. I think they should build those into every pedal. It should just be an option, an on-off switch, so that you don't burn out your batteries. Unless they're in collusion with the battery companies, but I don't think so. <laughs> anyway. There's lots of good uses for, I think, this rig now that I think about it, but go ahead and build your own and see if you can make it better than mine and, and or more useful, but the way it is right now, if there's no noise or static or popping or anything, I turn this on and off live, nothing. Works good. So again, it's just a couple of these soldered to either end of a switch. That's pretty much it. Have fun, kids. <laughs>